first half, and now we're going to have an excellent second half. The first speaker in the second half is Sylvia, Sylvia Lang, who's part of Ram and Sylvia. Sylvia was a retail supervisor when they joined in 2001. The reason was because Ram was desperate and Sylvia was a loyal wife. <laughs> That's the only reason. <laughs> Their best turnover was 100,000 and their best check is 6,000 pounds. Those checks, remember folks, are for four weeks. They've been to 16 conferences and they've also won a Mini Cooper. So please, let's raise the roof for Sylvia. For inviting, oh, for inviting me to speak. <laughs> I've only just started. <laughs> I'm not going to say thank you to Lynn for asking me to speak. Because <laughs> I am a Scottish virgin. This is the first time I've actually spoken in Scotland. So be kind to me. Please be kind to me. So what I'm going to do this afternoon is basically, basically go through our story, how we got involved in Clean Easy, how things have changed dramatically in Clean Easy, as in the company and everything that's changed, and how our lives have changed because of Clean Easy. So my talk is called This Is That Was Then and This Is Now. So in March 2001, as Jane said, this was our life. Ram was in the armed forces, um, and I was a retail supervisor. And our day consisted of Ram going to work at 6 o'clock in the morning, coming home at 6 o'clock at night. And I was a retail supervisor, and I worked from 5 o'clock at night till 11 o'clock at night. So you can imagine we didn't have a lot of time together as a family, but with two small children, we had to do what we had to do to make ends meet. Now, the, the army gave us a, a house, which is an absolute, it was a lovely house, so we didn't have to worry about accommodation, and we got an income of over £1,351 from RAM off his army pension. Whatever I brought in was a couple of hundred quid. So life was good. There was never enough money, but we were just working to survive. We were just basically happy with what we were doing. Now, that all changed when Ram was involved in a serious accident in which he shattered both of his legs and being in the armed forces, he couldn't do the job he was paid to do. So, in one foul swoop, we lost our house because it was an army quarter and we lost that full-time income. So, you can imagine it was a desperate situation. That's why Jane talked about Ram's desperation. Our situation was pretty desperate. We had no home. We'd been evicted from our army house. Um, and we had no income. We had £400 a month to live on, my wage, and two small children. And that's when what we can only describe as an answer to our prayer landed on our car. And that was one of these cards. And basically, we'd lived in New we lived in Newcastle at the time, about six miles from Gavin Scott. And every Saturday, without fail, we'd go shopping, we'd come home, and we'd find one of these cards on our car. And every week, without fail, we took, we took it off the car, threw it, in the threw it on the floor because we didn't need it at that moment in time. And obviously our circumstances had changed and we decided, you know what, we need to do something, we need to ring this. So Ram phoned up and 24 hours later an information pack arrived for a company called Clean Easy. Now to be quite honest, we, we were in the armed forces, we didn't know about Clean Easy, we'd never had the Clean Easy catalogue, we knew nothing about the company. And when Ram got the information pack, it was, he could see this as our financial of our financial future, basically. He could see the whole thing evolving in front of him and he could see it helping us getting out of our financial situation. I, on the other hand, thought it was a total and utter scam. Um, I begged him not to take it any further and, as per usual, he didn't listen to me and the very next day, Peter Rea arrived on our doorstep. Now, if you've got to picture the situation, Peter Rea sat in our front room and Ram and myself were arguing in the hallway because I didn't want him to do this, because I couldn't understand how anybody could earn any sort of money delivering collecting catalogues, but more importantly, I wasn't willing to listen. So I, the, the argument resulted in me walking out. I came home two hours later, and Peter Reed was still there. <laughs> <laughs> so I joined Clean Easy. Ram needed me to join because being in the army, he had no credit, so he couldn't, there was no um, credit background on him, so he needed somebody 
for to basically to sign the credit agreement form. So I joined for two reasons. One, to shut Peter Rea, to, to shut Ram up, sorry. And two was to get Peter Rea out of our house. But I, I vowed then and there that I wanted nothing whatsoever to do with Clean Easy. But that didn't mean I didn't have an opinion about it. And every single opportunity I was negative about Clean Easy. When he had a bad pickup, why don't you quit? Um, when one of his team members quit, why don't you quit? It's obviously not working. But the icing on the cake for me was when our sponsor quit. You see, he'd come to his senses, realised that Clean Easy didn't work, so he quit. And I tried to encourage Ram to do the same, and as per usual, there's a common trend here, Ram didn't listen. So it carried on like this for, uh, for a, couple of a couple of months, it was. And then one Sunday afternoon, I got dragged along to a seminar. Oh, no, I didn't. I got invited out for lunch. <laughs> I got invited out for, so for Sunday lunch, and it was in a beautiful stately home in Northumberland. We drove up the drive, and it was absolutely stunning until I turned around and seen all the uh, next income cars. And that's when I realised that Ram had brought me along to one of his cult meetings. So <laughs> but this was my whole mentality as we were going through the, the first part of our business. So if you, if you were a body language expert, I was sat at the back of the room, arms folded, face like thunder, after having another argument in the, in the car park with Ram about whether I was going to go into the meeting. And again, to shut him off, I went in. But I, I vowed then and there I wasn't even going to listen to anybody. And the only reason I listened to the last speaker of the day was because when he said, this is the last speaker of the day. And I thought, thank Christ for that, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> so uh, the guy got up and... All, all day it talked about lifestyles, it talked about money, cars, holidays. And to be quite honest, we never had any of that. So it never, ever interests me. And the last speaker of the day got up and started talking about his family, started talking about his children and the quality of time they had together. And that's when everybody has that penny dropping moment. And that was my penny dropping moment. Because I used to work from five o'clock at night and the boys used to come in at four. And then I'd go straight to work. So I never, ever see my children. And that was the one thing I craved more than anything else, was having time with my children and with Ram. So I turned around to Ram on that day and said, what do we have to do to have the lifestyle he's got? I wish that was Jim. <laughs> <laughs> he, he said, right, you've got to shut up and start listening to me for a start. That was the start of my clean, easy journey. So we went home and we decided that we needed to replace that income within 90 days. We needed, we had three months until Ram's pension, um, until Ram's income stopped. So we had 90 days to replace that full-time income. So the first thing we needed to do was we needed to have a 90-day massive action plan. Sorry, I keep having to reach forward. It's not okay. First and foremost, we needed to treat clean, easy like a job and employ ourselves. It's so easy to get caught up in the trap of thinking, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow. But for us personally, we needed to treat this like a job and employ ourselves and fit it around our commitments. We needed to plan. And these things are absolutely fantastic. Because we were still working, because we still had the boys, we had to plan meticulously with military precision how we were going to get our income up to £1,300 to replace Ram's army income. The first thing we did was we upped our retail. We needed, we, at the time, Ram was doing about £1,000, and we knew that we didn't want to rely on anybody else. So we had a look at the chart, and we decided that we were going to retail £3,000 personally because we knew that would give us a good, good chunk of what we needed, and it meant we didn't have to rely on anybody else. We could go and do that solely, and that's what we did. We upped our retail to over £3,000. We also knew that we had to recruit. Now, the slide now shows the fish pond training. The first and foremost, the first people you need to contact is your wall market. Anybody who hasn't contacted the wall market, it is ludicrous because there's so many people out there struggling. And your family and friends aren't going to turn around and say, do you know what, I'm skinny, have you, can you, have you got a job? You've got to go out there and let them know what you're doing and let them know that it's working. But these were all the activities that we had to do to get people into our business. We had to do thousands of flyers. We had to do thousands of cards. I'm showing you the then, and then I'm going to show you the now. But this is what we did personally to get our business rocking and rolling, really. We also had to work on ourselves because we weren't from a, a business background. Um, we, ha we knew nothing about the industry. And basically, there was nothing special about us. At the end of the day, we knew that we had to develop personally. 
and we'd never ever read books like this. We've been, we hadn't been involved in it, so we needed to make sure that we knew exactly how this industry worked. See, formal education will make you a living, but it's self-education that's going to make you a fortune. And I love that saying by Jim Rohn, because it's so, so true. Education comes in different forms. Now, I know and, um, Sue and Vanessa both touched on this before. And the great thing is with Clean Easy is the system is always the same. You'll get repetitions of people's training saying the same thing over and over again. But you can't change the fundamentals of this business. Tapes and CDs. There's so many tapes and CDs out there at the moment. And we just filled our car. It was like, like Sue says, a university by filling our minds. We attended all of the meetings. Whatever meetings we were told to attend, we attended. And we read books. The two books that I recommend personally are Gavin Scott's System Your Way from Rags to Riches. Why? Because Gavin Scott's in Clean Easy. It's not a corporate book um, written by some corporate hobnob. It's by somebody who's actually out there doing Clean Easy. So that's a, a book I recommend and Rhinoceros Success because this business, it's not easy. It is hard work, but it's hard work mentally and you need to mentally toughen up. And that's what book, that, that's the book that helped me more than anything and it was about keeping focused on what I wanted to achieve and not letting any of the negative comments that people said, just like I did to Ram, not letting them affect me in any sort of way. So they're the two books that I reckon, well, that I got the most benefit from. And we had to do it, this was the hard one, you had to do it consistently and persistently for 90 days. We, could, we, we decided that we had to make a few sacrifices because we knew the end goal would be worth it. So it was 90 days consistently retailing, consistently recruiting, and consistently working on ourselves. And this is what happened. Our, we went gold distributor. Our 90 days from the day we made that plan, we went gold distributor. And what that meant was, now I could leave work because Ram was given an army pension. That it meant now that I could leave work as well. But the fantastic thing with going gold was we qualified for Monte Carlo, which was our very, very first conference. But now, when you go gold, who, who in this room is looking at going gold distributor within the next 12 months? So there's a few of you. Right, so not only are you going to get a £1,000 plus income every four weeks, hold it for three periods with the right business sales, you'll qualify for Dubai. Hold it for six periods, you'll qualify for 500 free catalogues. Hold it for 10 periods and you get a £1,500 bonus as well as your income as well. It's a win-win situation. We never had any of that in the, back in, in the olden days. <laughs> but that's the sort of thing the company putting on. The incentives the company have got now are absolutely fantastic. So it meant that now I could leave work. And what did that mean to me? Clean Easy has given us, it's, it's totally changed our life beyond recognition. While we've got a fantastic, fantastic income. Um, but more importantly, we get to spend all of our time with our children. And we've spent the last five years, um, Jordan's just gone off to university and Danny's um, just starting his A-levels. But the past five years have been spent with them and it's been being at home when they're wanting to, um, when, when, when they're revising, when they're doing their exams, it's being that support structure they need, that arm around the shoulder saying, do you know what, it's okay, don't worry about it. Because I believe if our children had been brought up in a job world, they'd have, they'd have been latchkey kids, because they'd have to be, because we were both working. They wouldn't have had the revision done because it would have got left by the wayside. They wouldn't have got the grades they needed to move on to further education. And I believe that's what Cleanies has given us more than anything else, is yeah, we have got the income and, we, and we've had the cars and the holidays, but the fact that all them years ago, I wanted that lifestyle that that, that gentleman talked about on that day, and now I've got it. And that's the most important thing to me, is the fact that I get to spend every waking moment with my children, because we're not just doing it for our boys now. Well, we're not just doing it for ourselves now. We're doing it to help change our, our children's lives. And I just wish he was here today, because Sue, I think it's absolutely fantastic that your son's gone 21%, because Jordan went 15% last month as well. So he's now in the business. So the clean, easy thing rubs off. So good luck for gold. So you have three choices in life. And we all have the same, same three choices. You can either give up, you can give in, or you can give it your all. Ram could have quite easily, when the army kicked him out, um, decided, you know what, I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to sit on the dole, and that's it. I'm going to get um, disabled allowance, whatever. I'm, uh, this is what I'm going to do. Or he could have given by me persistently being negative and sceptical, but he didn't. He gave it his all. And that's the reason why we're here today, is because 
It's about your choice. It's about the choices you make. We all have the same choice, but at the end of the day, it is up to you what you choose. So the opportunity now is bigger and better than ever, and the time is now. It is, um, the business is so much easier now than it's ever been, and it's probably even more easier for, for since when Lynn joined as well, because she's seen it evolve just further than what we have by being in them extra years. So the business is now, and I, I'm going to explain why now. Because we are actually part of a multi-million pound British PLC. We're not part of a Tim Pot catalogue organisation. It is a multi-million pound home shopping business. We, are, we have, as a company, the, million, the billion dollar vision, and Jamie talked about it, and Michael talked about it today, and we're so excited about the future of Clean Easy. It's, it's going to be absolutely massive, but it's going to be massive for those who want to take advantage of exactly what's on offer with it. We are the company of excellence within the DSA, and that's a huge accolade to have. Within the whole of the Direct Selling Association, we are the company of excellence, and it's something to be proud of, and it's something that people need to know about as well, because when they turn around and say, oh, you're still doing that clean, easy thing, you say, yeah, do you know what, I am, and I'm proud to be part of it. And we have embraced modern technology and modified it to suit our business, well, the company have. They've, they've They've moved in the right direction. They've gone from cataloging to the e-commerce. And it's because at the end of the day, whether we like it or not, most people now communicate via email. And the next two generations aren't going to know how to hold a conversation because the only conversation they're going to have is via keyboard. And it's true, isn't it? We all do type, type, type. And it's easier to type to somebody than it is to pick up the phone. But Clean Easy is embraced that, realise that that's the trend, and that's the trend of moving forward. The things like social media, you see businesses on social media, Alan Sugar's on um, Twitter, Richard Branson's on Twitter, um, Deborah Meehan's on Twitter, they're all huge business people, why? Because it's free and they can advertise their business globally for nothing. So there is a reason why the social media is out there. See the retail side now is easier, you don't have to put thousands of catalogues out to earn an income. You still have to put catalogues out. I'm not saying that go down the route of doing everything e-commerce. What I'm saying is everything within reason. We have our online shop, which is absolutely fantastic because if you want to give it to your, your family and friends or your customers, you can. Whereas before, we couldn't do it because we were obviously too far away and the sales went to somebody else. But you can now. You've got a fantastic online shop. We've got direct dispatch, which that all that means is... If one of your family members in London wants to order something, they can order it off your site. You get the commission, you get the bonus points. It's a win-win situation. And we have Easy Party, what Sue touched on before, and it's an absolutely fantastic tool for those who want to use it. So if you don't want to do the catalogs, if you don't want to do the e-commerce side, you can get out there and get paid to party. And then we have the product flyers, the, the style file flyers, that we can put on the front of our, you can change them all the time on the front of your page but it's all about getting your um, clean, easy shop out into the marketplace. But it's not about bombarding Facebook and bombarding Twitter, because all that's going to happen is people will kick you off or they'll unfollow you. It's about doing it sensibly, small product recommendations to your friends and family and to the wider audience, and the same with Twitter. Make sure you've got something that's relevant to a tweet that's going on. Don't just put a random thing out, join my business, join my business, because it happens every day. People will get unfollowed and unfriend because it's of the bombardment of information. So there is a right way and a wrong way to do it. The sponsoring side with Clean Easy, the possibilities are endless now. Like to, to sponsor people in when we first started, we were putting out a thousand flyers a day and a thousand cards, and we don't have to do that anymore because your audience now is a virtual audience and it's huge. It's absolutely huge. I don't know half of these things because I'm not technically minded, but I know Facebook and I know Twitter. But all of the other things that are on there are all social media sites that you can get involved in, and anybody who's technical will know what they all mean. But the possibilities are endless. But again, it's about recommending them in the right way as well. See, Facebook is the only place where it's acceptable to talk to a wall. And it's true, isn't it? You type on there, unless... Has anybody seen Shirley Valentine? when she talks to the wall. Well, it's acceptable in our house because I, say, I seem to spend most of my time talking to a wall with two teenage boys and Ram. You can understand where I'm coming from. <laughs> but it is acceptable to talk to a wall. Oh. 
we always have company support and, the, and company support over the years has been absolutely fantastic. We've got the YouTube trainings. Does anybody go on to Clean Easy HQ and watch the trainings on YouTube? Aren't they absolutely brilliant? And it's a wealth of knowledge at your fingertips. And if you've got, we were talk, I was talking to Vanessa about this in the break, if you've got a team member who lives down in London and she's a single mum, and you've got Abigail Coakley's training on this, send her the training because it's going to be relevant to her. The YouTube trainers are absolutely fantastic. We have the webinar trainings, and I know the, the fantastic Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Boswell set the, the webinar trainings up, and he does them every month, and he puts them onto the whole of the network. He doesn't have to, but he does, and it's a fantastic tool because we can all plug in from the comfort of our own home, and the trainer does it for us. We have e-commerce e tutorials. For those of us who aren't techni technically minded, that was absolutely fantastic when we got an email saying, this is how you set up your shop, this is how you do this, this is how you do that, and I thought it was fantastic because it gives you it step by step, and the company don't have to do this, and that's what they do. We have the, the product flyers that they produce for the front of our catalogues, which for the style file, and what's the other one at the minute? Oh, I can't think anyway. For the, the, the style file and the product flyers, to keep our catalogues fresh, we're allowed to put them in the front of them. And we have social media inter interaction with the company. At the end of the day, it's, it's not often you get your managing director set tweeting yet on Twitter. In another company, you wouldn't get that. And that's what's fantastic about this business, the social media interaction that we have from head office. So, making a life change is pretty scary. And it was for us, it was an absolute fantastic, uh, it was a, a, this is probably one of the scariest moments of our lives. But you know what's even scarier? Regret. Is thinking, oh, I wish I would have. I wish I'd done it years ago. I wish I would have done this. My best advice is, do you know what? This business is there for absolutely everybody who wants to put a bit of hard work in, get out there and earn a fantastic income because you know what? It's available to absolutely everybody. And I'd just like to leave you with one little quote. We can easily find an excuse as to why not, but what we need to do is find a dream that's so big that no excuse will ever hold us back. Dream, believe and achieve. Thank you very much. Leaves are feeling